Hey, 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 family. Really quickly, I have to give this this quick word. Um, I hope your day has been wonderful. Happy 4th of July. Hope you're enjoying it with your family, friends, etc. And uh, just really quickly, you guys, um, just want to vent for a couple minutes. Uh, you know, I made it home and it just, you know, I was just thinking about the, uh, the conversation that I had with the coworker. Um, pretty much about, you know, how other people, you know, gossip about each other and, you know, backbite each other and, you know, just talk about folk and to be the closest ones to you. Right. And, um, she asked something. I, I, I don't quite know what it was. At least I don't remember, but my response was, I, my, she, she mentioned my response was after she said this, she said, so what you don't know won't hurt you, right? And I said, no, because you're, 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 you're perceiving or thinking that if I knew what a uh, people or person was saying about me, that I will feel hurt about it. No, in the name of Jesus, no. And I said, for one, it's not my business to think or to know how people feel about me. Nonetheless, what people say about me. And I may add, no one's going to say it to my face, right? And mind you, I'm not being arrogant or big hated about it, but it's just the truth. No one's going to say it to my face, right? And so I guess she wasn't expecting that response. Um... You know, but I just want to encourage you guys and mind you, you know, it doesn't matter what setting you are in, you know, you're, you're not going to mesh with everyone. Uh, you're, you're, you're not everyone's cup of tea, right? You're, you're not everyone is going to like you. Know that you are set apart, right? And of course, you're not, uh, you're not in person's eyes or um, the, 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 the culture's look or ways. Uh, you're not what a person, you know, may think how you should look or how you should be, you know, and that's completely fine. You are set apart. I am set apart. Right. And I'm not supposed to mesh well with everybody. And, and, and my enemies, again, I've said before previous that enemies are some enemies, you know, are known about it. You know, they're, they're, they're pretty flamboyant about it. Some are silent enemies and I know discernment. Glory be to God. God gives us a discernment. And I pray that God uh, heighten your discernment in Jesus' mighty name. And, you know, they smile in your face, kick in your face, you know. And, and it's just so common sense, you guys, right? And, and common sense is not common. You know, when you hear other co-workers or people in general talk about other people, whether in your presence or rather, rather in your presence, you better believe, you better believe that they are talking about you too. And potentially more than likely with the same people, right? That they uh, uh, talk about others with, um, you know, and about. And so I'm here to tell you and to encourage us if you, you know, been through, not been through, but, you know, it's just, just a reminder that, you know, we're not here to fit in, you know, uh, people won't like us, people don't like you, you know, everyone won't like you, you know, and that's completely fine. You have to be okay with that. And you have to be okay with the fact that, you know, people do talk, they will talk about you, right? And you know, they, they, they you know, will try, they will try. And sometimes, you know, people will try to sneak in, you know, um, uh, the subliminal things people would try to you know uh stand against you right uh, it could be just anything that you say or an opinion or a, a comment or statement anything you know they would try but again discernment and it's how we address how we address it right and uh just know that you know scripture says you know arm ourselves we have to keep ourselves armored with you know the whole armor of god Hallelujah. To, you know, so we can withstand the, the schemes of the enemy, right? And and the minions or who that the, the the people, you know, uh the the spirit that the people yield to, right? You know, and again, we don't fight with flesh and blood, you know, all things are spiritual. 
And uh, so just know that, you know, people will try you. People talk about you. You know, uh, me personally, I don't consider anyone friends. You know, I, I really don't. There's only probably one guy, one person, and he's an older, older junior, real cool, you know, a veteran. He's my buddy, um, a friend. I can say a friend, not a close friend, but a friend, a workplace friend. I can I can honestly say that, but everyone else no, we're just coworkers, you know, we're just associates. That's it. And you know we have to be very selective, right? And you know people will try to be nosy, you know they they will try. And you know I'm and, and again, it, you know unfortunately uh, if you if you guys tuned into the you know uh, checked out the other uh, video message um, about you know people speak know the name of God. They know the name of Jesus, but yet their hearts are far from them. And there's things that I can say, uh, but, you know, I don't want to put anybody's business out there. But know that, you know, these are supposed to be persons that are in church, you know. You know, it's amazing. And God says, you know, we, we will know them by their fruits. And, you know, I love every person, even love my enemies, right? And again, you know, that's a personal issue. It doesn't have anything to do with me. It's just a personal issue. The person may not, not like how I wear my hair. They may not like uh, the clothing that I represent. Uh, uh, my faith that I represent. Uh, you know, uh, how the way I talk, the way I engage with other people, the way that, you know, I show love to other people, the way I am fair with other people, you know, and it, it could be anything the shoes that you may wear, right? It can just be anything, the car that you drive, just anything. They, they will find anything just to say about you, you know? And again, I'm not the one to try to build allies. You know, I'm, I'm not at all. And um, I'm just who I am. I am that I am because the great I am speaks over me, right? And Again, we're not here to be liked, amen, and we can only please God, not any other person. But again, we know how people are. We see them. We know how they move, uh, you know, and so still cordial, you know, still respect, you know, but I see you, right? I see you, you know, and so cannot be fooled and not given in to or, or, or fake it. You know, people like to say, I've heard people say, I will act stupid. I'm gonna I'm let you think that I'm stupid. You know, something along those lines. Family, I disagree with that. I disagree with that. You know, I see you. I see you, right? I know that you talk about me. Personally, I don't care. We shouldn't care. And we shouldn't, you know, and again, I always tell people. I like to tell people, and you know, this word is for somebody, for someone, and it is for me as well. I always tell people, do not, I don't care who they are, who they are, do not allow people's words against you carry weight. Do not, in the mighty name of Jesus, do not. It is a personal issue. Continue to shine. Continue to be light in this world. Continue to be salt. Don't lose your savor. Continue to be a straight a person continue to be the child of God, continue to walk in your identity, continue to exert your authority, your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Don't worry what others think or what they may say. And it could be persons that are around you, but it doesn't matter. You know, we irritate them anyway. Okay. Especially if, <laughs> you know, whatever spirit they working with. Okay. And yes, we are not perfect children of God. We are not perfect family yet. The spirit of truth is with us. We know. And, you know, if we make a mistake, we clearly and, and immediately we ask God for forgiveness. And yet he already made a way for us. And, you know, he prepared everything for us to live godliness and in righteousness. Amen. So you guys continue to do you continue to be that person Christ created you to be is still developing you in the mighty name of Jesus and trust him. And don't worry about what's going on. Do you. And continue to be light in dark places. All right? I love you all with the love of Christ. 
For those who are not saved, invite the Lord in your lives. Invite him in your heart. Confess with your mouths. Confess. Be of good cheer. He chose you. Amen. He chose you. You are blessed. Be a blessing unto others in the mighty name of Jesus. Be safe. Happy fourth. And the Lord's will. We will talk soon, family. We will talk soon. Have a good night. Peace.